Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will create a mood selector component in Power Apps in a Canvas app. So this is part of a series in uh, which I've been doing a SharePoint driven employee engagement survey based on Power Apps and Canvas, of course. So this uh, allows you to input how you feel about certain things within the company on a scale from one to 10. And I've used a slider in a previous demo for that. And I've created kind of a wizard interface to interact with that. Now I kind of feel that maybe we should spice that up a bit more or show you how to use some other components. And this is what I'm trying to achieve. So this kind of scenario where you have a few different options and you click on the one that you like, so from worst to best. Anyhow, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch back to this one that's still in the just the text box uh, mode there, which is number. There are lots of ways to do it, of course, but I want to make something that's reasonably reusable because I want to use it 22 times. So I want to minimize the amount of code I write on every one of these questions. So I started with with doing a component, but it turns out that that is actually not possible. So this is my end goal here. I wanted to do this, but no, that doesn't work because you cannot insert a component inside a card. So that was not a way forward. So instead I went another way. So this is what I'm going to show you. All right, so let's go to the app and create a connection. So let's go to the on start and create a collection there. So I'm going to create a collection of the moods that I'm going to be using. So first we're going to clear collect as usual to define and clear our collection. And the collection is going to be called moods. And that collection will have a number of objects. So I'm going to start with defining one of those. And they're going to have a number one is for, for the first one. And that's going to be the sad emoticon. So that's going to, I'm going to use the icon here. And that will be the emoji, emoji sad, sad. So that will be a score of one. And then the color for that, I'm going to put that in here also. Color that's going to be red, all right? So there I've defined the first of these components now. So then I'm going to do the same thing again, no less than five times. I usually group these thing, kind of things by three just to make it very easy to read. So now we see very clearly that we have three and two there, that making five. So that's very good. So two and three and four and five. There we go. So the emoji sad, emoji frown. I'm going to use that as number two emoji neutral and these are of course built-in icon i didn't make those up myself they're built into the power apps application and neutrals and then we have smile and happy smile and happy emoji happy all right very good so red orange for the color coding i'm going to be using here yellow for neutral and uh, a light green light green for the smile and then all green for the happy. So there I have my collection now. All right, so let's just run that now. Run the on start. So now I have that, so to speak, in memory. Then I'll go back uh, forward to the third one here, which I haven't done any modifications to. This is the default data card with a number. So let's insert a gallery here now, and I'm gonna do a horizontal gallery. I want it to be inside this data card, of course, because it's going to be part of the data card. Blank horizontal gallery is we want to insert. And nope, it did not make it in there. All right, let's try something else. Let's do cut and then do in here, select that. And then under here, we do the paste. Let's see if we can get it in. Yes, now it got in there. All right, so good. So those are a few different things you can select to get things inside the container where you want to get them. So I'm just going to call that gal mood three. All right, and let's see now. Now I'm going to do the items here, the data source. Uh, there we go, items, I have that up there. And that's going to be my moods, which I just connected. 
and then inside this gallery now let's see let's just check that I'm, I'm actually selecting the gallery yes I'm selecting the gallery then I'll just insert any old icon so we can just do um, back arrow it's fine this one gets added of course to every item so let's make that a bit smaller let's 55 in, in height and there and the actual size of the template should be a, a lot smaller so let's make that um, 65 maybe there we go now we're starting to look rather good so now we can make this smaller and let's just adjust it a little bit here that's the template size there we should put this icon inside the template so that it fits there we go maybe make the template slightly smaller and then we put the icon in the center of of the template so now that's looking rather good and i think we should put some padding in there also just a couple of pixels around the icon all right so now we have the same icon of course for all of these let's put it in this slightly there in the middle a couple of more pixels is what i want i don't want any scroll bar of course there we go okay i think that looks good now on this icon i'm going to rename that mood icon right so this and this is three because it's on the third question i'm going to have to redo this for every question some of it at least i can copy and paste some of it but um, some of it i'm going to have to redo all right so the actual icon here let's see where that is you can find that here the icon back arrow is on the icon property so let's put that in here icon there not the back arrow but this item item icon there we have the different icons in the order from sad to happy and then i can do the color and there i can do the, this item color right there we have the different colors and also i want to show which one is selected making make, make that very clear so i'm going to have the fill By default the background fill is just white but i'm going to check if this item is selected then it's going to be rjba 211 that's a nice easy to remember code for a light gray shade and a comma and end parentheses so if this item is selected it's going to be gray otherwise the background is going to be white so there you see number four is selected there so that's light gray in the background i'm just going to play this and do yellow there we go now it's showing very nicely the selected uh, color and then also we can put the value in here so instead of parent default we'll do um, gal mood three selected number all right so let's play this now and we'll see that the number gets updated up there also so that's exactly what we want so now of course we can hide this altogether make it uh, not visible so but let's just publish this now to sharepoint and see how it works in sharepoint when we add a new item so this was for number three and let's see if it works as intended there so we'll go back to sharepoint leave the app yes and here now i'm going to create a new item and it opens up in the form and then we have the slider that i had before then i had this the progress bar is working just fine and there we have my selector so number three all right so let's do number four there and see how that works and now i will just save this and as you see yes i got a four on the number three and so it's working as it should so let's go back to customize the form and then i'll show you how to do it on the next one because as i said this is slightly reusable but not entirely so there are some modifications you have to do for every question to make this happen now we're going to do the same thing on the others i did it on the third 
and there it worked good. So I'm just going to move those. Remember, I've hidden the data cards depending on where I am in this wizard interface. So I need to actually move to them with the Alt key. Then I can move through these in, in my wizard interface to work with them and to modify them, of course. So now for the next question, so let's go, go back to number one actually and do that one first. Then I'll just copy this whole entire thing, the gallery. I'm going to copy that and then I'll go back to the number one. And of course, I want to show that in the UI also, but I'll go back to that. And then I can remove this slider because I, I like the other one better. And then I'm going to paste inside this paste. So there we have the gal mode moods three one. Let's rename that two one. And then I'll move things down a bit here. Something like that, and of course you want to make it the same exact height on every one, otherwise it will be jumping around. But let's see. And now we just connect this data card value here, that one, this one. It shouldn't be parent default now, it should be gal mood one, selected, and number. Great, so that should be it. Now it should work. Let's just try, we do have an error message here, so let's check that out. Also, we have two formulas that are not correct. The slider, of course, yes, I am using the slider. Yes, so it can be the data card one value, of course, which is the default. Data card value four, data card value two is the one that we have there. I haven't renamed everything there. Value two. So that's the value of that, the text, and then the value of that, that's the default on the update property that I changed before in a previous demo. So that should do it. That was my formula fix there. All right, let's publish this now. That was for number one. Now I've done it on number one and number three. But as you see, for every one now, I have to spend like, you know, 30 seconds or so to modify that, but that's not too bad. Slightly reusable. So let's create a new item and, the f and let's do very happy and that one with the slider and next one not so happy and then save that and yes it did get the values that i expected so that concludes this demonstration on how to get started at least with the mood selectors in a sharepoint embedded or a SharePoint customized form in Power Apps. Thank you for watching this rather long demo.